This is my Aruba 12 SS made by Sun Dolphin. I put pad eyes back here to go with to attach the landing net. I built my own little paddle for trolling and keeping it in position when I'm fishing. The life jacket, probably not going with it. <clears throat> um, there's a container underneath of here that has storage. I have some stuff in there. That'll of course be cleaned out. I put that handle on it because trying to open it here wasn't very entertaining. This handle came with it. This is waterproof. This, this black thing right here will come out of here and they say you can float it in the water next to your kayak. Um, <clears throat> I've never done it personally, but it is waterproof so it can float. I put different handles on here, different T-handles, because the other ones hurt the hands. I put an anchor trolley on this side, as you can see. The rope goes down. Oh, here it is. So you can just pull this rope. And you can put the anchor in the front or in the back. I put a handle on this one too. It's easier to open. There's a lot of storage in there. I've got a small depth finder and I might be willing to sell with it. I put this cup holder in here because the cup holder that's in here is right between my legs. And I'm a big guy, I'm 300 pounds, which is why I'm getting rid of this. It's too small for me. But that cup holder, well, I couldn't get a cup in it when I was sitting in here. <clears throat> it's a little dirty. I still got the float up there. Um, those buoy markers will come with. But I do have Velcro on them to stay in place. So if you want to, you could easily get another pair, put a piece of Velcro on there. With the transducer, my small depth finder. I have these connected here that connect to my rods so my rods don't fall out there's the, the cooler that I mounted to it and that one can stay I've actually got bungee cords here to hold it in place does a very good job of holding it in place this handle I put on here so I could pull myself up and get off I put these two rod holders on here and they come right off like so. They're Berkley rod holders. They work very nice as you can see. I got that one on there, that one on there. I put those pad eyes on, of course, to hold on that one, that one. Oh, what else did I do? I actually cut these out right here. Because like I said, I'm a big guy. And my legs wouldn't fit underneath. The plastic went straight across right here. I carved that out. A lot more comfortable to sit in. Get in and out of. <clears throat> I put this pad eye here. Put a bungee cord there, there. So when you pop this open, it stays open. Otherwise it kept falling down all the time. The wind would blow it, it slammed down, wouldn't be able to get your stuff in there, but there's a nice tray in there. And like I said, I put these pad eyes in here. I put that handle on there, so I had something to grab a hold of when I was putting, putting it, pulling it in and out of the truck. These are, well, they call them GoPro mounts. And they probably work for GoPros. I don't know if it actually used the actual GoPro brand. I have a couple of off-brand action cameras that I mount on there. Uh, and I have another one back here too. 
I put this anchor cleat on here, the anchor. I think that's pretty much all I did to it. As you can see, I got two of those marker buoys in there, but the paddle comes with it. And then of course the paddle straps on this side here, it goes in there and it clips up like so to hold the paddle into place. Yeah, that's what I did to it. That's my sun dolphin, Aruba. Like I said, it floats good. It holds me. There's just not enough room inside of here. I'm a big guy, 300 pounds. There's not enough room in there for me to fish. Um, it gets really uncomfortable. I got bad legs and I can't keep them straight out like that. I gotta find, I gotta get a boat where I can have them bent. That's the only thing also license 2018 and of course it does have the, the pedals in there for your feet i guess that's it and that's it i'll stand back one more time so you get a good look at it it's 12 feet long and it's all ready for fishing <laughs>